What is going on guys, I'm Adriano and this video is about how to join data based on a common attribute using AWS Glue Studio. Now I've already went ahead to add my two data sources into the AWS Glue catalog here and it's coming from Postgres. Now if you're unsure how to add data sources to AWS Glue catalog, I've included a link to a video in the description below. So we're just going to navigate here to AWS Glue Studio and then we're going to select create and manage jobs. I'm going to select a blank graph and hit create. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is name our job. We're going to give it something meaningful. So I'm going to call it customers underscore joined with the department department. And now the first thing we're going to do is add a new node. So I'm going to hit plus. And now this is going to be the data set that we're adding in. So the data is coming from our JDBC connection, which is a Postgres database. And now we're going to add that database here, which is from the customers analytics. The table is going to be the customer table. And now the next step is to add that second table that's going to be joined to our first one. So I, again, I'm going to add a JDBC connection. The database is going to be customer analytics. And that table is the customer underscore public underscore department table. If we look at the schema of the two tables, we have the department ID and department in the second data set. The first one has all the other attributes that we want. We're going to be using the department ID from the first table and the department ID from the second table to join the two data sets together. Now, the next step is to add the join node, and we're going to call it join node. And the node type is going to be under transform, and it is join. Now the next step is to select the parents that's going to be connecting them together and we're going to be selecting our two data sources and then on the graph what you can see is the arrows appear to be pointing it towards that join which is exactly what we want. Now in order for the transform to work we need to set the join parameters here and because the data is sharing two common attribute names we get hit with this message saying the input schemas of the join have conflicting key names. This can be avoided by reusing an apply mapping to rename the keys before joining to avoid downstream errors. But because I know my data is cleaned, I'm not too concerned about this issue, so I'm just going to ignore it for now. Now, for the join type, here is where we can say how we want the join to be performed. Now, if I do select inner join, it's going to be adding all the rows from both data sets that join the criteria. If I do a left join here, it's going to select all the rows from the data set and the rows that meet the join criteria from the second data set. We got a right join which selects the rows from the right data set and the rows that meet the join condition from the left data sets. And we also got an outer join which is going to basically join all the rows together. And then we have two other options here with this left excluding join and right excluding join. So if I were to select these, it's going to basically limit the results based on the left or right join, but not return any attributes from the other tables. So I'm just going to go ahead and select inner join. Now we need to add the condition for how this join is going to happen. So we are going to first select that department ID from our first data set. And from the second data set, it's going to be that department ID. So that looks good. And now if we look at our output schema, we get the name of the columns and the data type for each column. And what you notice here is we have a dot department ID, which seems to be a duplicate, but it's actually coming from the right data set. So if we want to clean that up in our final output, what we can do is add another node. And we're going to select the node type of it being draw fields. And now I'm just going to go to transform and select the field I'm going to drop, which is the dot department ID. And now if we look at the schema, that looks good. And now for the final step, we're just going to add that output location. So I'm just going to add another node. I'm just going to select S3 and going to select the data target to be specifically S3. Now for node parent, you just want to make sure you have it selected on that drop field transform there. And now it's going to ask what's the output format. I'm going to select Parquet. I'm just going to use uh, gzip compression. Now we're going to select the S3 location for this job. Select choose. All right, I'm just going to save that job. And now if we go to the script, we can see the actual code that has been generated from our visual graph view. And now finally for the basic job parameters, I'm going to make sure I have a role that has access to that S3 write and read location. And I'm going to be selecting glue 2.0, leave it a Python 3, 
Um, now, number of workers, I only have 5,000 records, so having 10 nodes is a complete overkill. I'm just gonna select the minimum, which is two. And number of retries, I only want one. I'm gonna set the max job timeout to five. And uh, I'm gonna save that. And I think everything else looks good. I'm just gonna now go for giving that a run. Under the run tab, we can see how our job is doing. I'll tell us the execute time. And when your job is done and it's successful, then you would have successfully joined your two data sets together. Now, if you want to inspect the data, we can use AWS Athena to see what the data looks like. I'm just going to head over to AWS Athena here. And now we're going to go to that new created table. I'm just going to create a basic query to inspect the data. So I'm just going to do select all from customer underscore analytics dot customer underscore department score joined limit 20 and hit run so as you see we have the department from our second data set has been successfully added to this new output i hope this video was helpful and you now know how to join data using aws glue studio thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next data integration tutorial see you next time